The reason you haven't seen a live stream in a while is because I was on a road trip with uh, one of my sons, Thing One. Uh, and I thought I'd start with a little show and tell. Um, we had a lovely road trip through the American Southwest. We started in Denver, Colorado. Uh, we went down to Westcliff, Colorado, which is a tiny little place, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the mountains that you can see from Westcliff feel like you're on a Lord of the Rings set. Uh, from Westcliff, we went south to, uh, Santa Fe. Then we, and Santa Fe was amazing. We went to Moab, Utah for a couple of days, then up to um, <clears throat> Salt Lake City, where I had a corporate gig, and then back home to San Francisco. Yet 2,200 miles in seven days. Um, I like to do road trips where I do like a heavy day of seven or eight hours of driving, and then maybe a light day or a day off. And then, so I oscillate the heavy days. Um, I'm too old to sit for seven or eight hours. Uh, two days in a row. And man, <clears throat> when you are driving around the country and you're getting tired and your ass is getting tired driving in the car and then you see the truckers, the long haul truckers going, my hat is off to them. That is a tough job. Uh, I really, <laughs> it's the, the more I drive and I've been doing more driving in my fifties than I ever did in my twenties. I never drove across the country until about 10 years ago. And now I've done it three or four times. Um, yeah, the more respect I have for those who drive for a living. Uh, I have a couple of wonderful things. When I was in Santa Fe, of course, I went to the amazing and marvelous Meow Wolf. Uh, and this was the original, the OG Meow Wolf. Uh, I believe the seed money was provided by George R.R. R. Martin. Um, the incredible artisans that built that, uh, exhibit. Is it exhibit really? It's more like an experience. If you haven't gone to Meow Wolf, and now there's one in Denver, and I know they're building a couple of others in the in the U.S., uh, go. Just go. It's, it's other. It is, it is something really, really special. And there's a, there were several new rooms at the one in Santa Fe that I had not seen before that really blew my mind. In their gift shop, they had one of the most surreal objects I have ever encountered, and it is this. Yeah. Oh, sorry. There's the label. Blitz Cherry Cher Premium Steam Remover. It happened so fast. Okay, I'm going to read you the label because it's very funny. Cherry Blitz. Tough stains won't even know. Cherry Blitz harnesses the power of cherries to move tough stains so fast you can't even talk about it. <laughs> this, is, um, this is a surrealist masterpiece. I mean, I grew up loving artists like Marcel Duchamp and René Magritte. This fits right into their oeuvre. Um, directions. Spray directly onto surface and get away. Let stand for three to five minutes. Repeat as needed until stain has moved sufficiently. Do not attempt to search for missing stains. Oh, Meow Wolf, I have to thank you for... This object will be a powerful reminder of the surreal in my collection forever. Yeah, you guys are Killing it. This makes me so happy. You should have seen Norm's face when I brought this in. Norm's like, oh, what? Yeah, um, I should have bought two. Uh, I hope they sell these online. Let's just. Uh, they do, and I'm ordering one right now before it sells out. <laughs> Thanks, <Adam. laughs> Norm is ordering one right now before it sells out. Um, I then went from Santa Fe to the magnificent Moab, Utah. And if you haven't been to Moab, dude, it is one of the most beautiful places on earth. It is like up there with Sedona and Zion Canyon for like a place where every time you look out the window, you're like, come on, are you guys kidding me? This is ridiculous how beautiful this is. And in Moab, a uh, thing one who has always been interested in gems, gemstones, and fossils of all sorts. Um, I remember taking him to the British Museum of Natural History's gem room when he was 11. And I mean, I've never seen a kid so excited. Uh, and I went to this beautiful, uh, uh, the, the rock shop, the rock shop. Is that what? Yes. The rock shop in, in, in Moab. And I bought a, I bought an Allosaurus finger. Look at that. That is a real dinosaur finger. Yeah. I bought this Allosaurus finger because I thought it'd be a good addition to my collection. I, yeah, there was so many beautiful things. I also bought a flint knife, but that's at home on my desk. So I don't have that for a show and tell. Um, 
Salt Lake City, also one of the most beautiful cities in the country. I mean, it just, it, the mountains are so close and it is such a, yeah, it's a gorgeous place. I had dinner with some very good friends there. It was a, it was a really lovely road trip. Um, because I was traveling with my son, <clears throat> I, look, I don't get recognized that much anymore. I know if you're watching this, you're probably a self-selected fan. Um, but it's been a while since I've been on television. And so my recognition factor has gone way down. Um, and yet still, you know, I, when I'm traveling with family and I want to keep it private, I, I like to sort of make sure that I'm invisible. And I discovered a perfect way to be totally invisible, which is a Denver Nuggets baseball cap. Honestly, no one even looks twice at me in this because I just don't think any of my fans would ever imagine I'd be wearing a sports team cap. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of really dug how how much this uh, just made me blend in with the with the landscape. Um, I got back yesterday, so I'm still a little bit sore. Um, we had one adventure, which was leaving Salt Lake City two days ago. Right, so I did the leg from Salt Lake in two in two uh, in two batches. Uh, Salt Lake to Winnemucca, Winnemucca to here, and. On the way to Winnemucca, you leave the Salt Lake and you go over the Pequop Pass, I think, P-E-Q-U-O-P. I might be getting the pronunciation wrong. The Emigrant Pass. And we're, it was always about like 50 degrees leaving Salt Lake. And then we're like, what is this? Is this hail? Is this dust? Wait, it's snow. It's snow. And then the temperature dropped to 20 degrees. And all of a sudden, I am driving in slush and my Chevy Tahoe hydroplanes on a mountain curve next to an 18-wheeler. I have rarely been so uh, tense in a car. Luckily, I have had a lot of driving training, as you probably know, over the course of Mythbusters. I've been trained to drive and hydroplane safely, and I did. I'm, you know, you know, uh, what do you call it? Pumping the brakes so I don't lock up, and I skid and go sideways for about 300 feet and then I recovered and then I hit another patch and I go sideways for about another 300 feet and I have to say two days ago uh, what followed that hydroplaning was three hours of some of the toughest driving I have ever done we were going with the 18 wheelers at about 40 45 miles per hour the conditions were really really rough heavy snow low visibility um, I'm staying with the biggest things that I can see so that uh, I'm making sure that I'm not uh, 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 going too fast I figure the truckers know exactly the speed to go and I'm matching them uh, in pace but uh, who boy that is one of those one of those things I'm glad we got through it I don't ever want to do that kind of driving again but now I'm here safe and sound, and I've got a batch of your lovely questions to answer. Uh, and there are some really good ones in here. So uh, I'll have a sip of my Bundaberg, and we'll get started. Mm. It's really nice to be back in the shop. Um, whenever I've left for a couple of weeks, I always come in and I sort of jump right in to start like filing something or cutting something just to kind of get my my head back in the game of this place. And it, like the shop needs a lot of work right now. We are, in, it's in the middle of some transition. I got rid of the pool table. I'm archiving a lot of the collection. I'm also moving some things around. Um, and work is picking up, right? The world is waking up again. Uh, I'm getting some corporate gigs here and there. And it means that I'm spending more time out of the shops. And that requires me to sort of like refine its organizational, uh, strategies, refine my organizational strategies so I don't leave it always a, a, a shit fight. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us even further, you can by becoming a tested member. Uh, details are, of course, below, but it includes all sorts of perks and we're building them all the time. You get advanced word and behind the scenes photos of some of our projects questions. You get to ask direct questions during my live streams, and we have some members-only videos, including the Adam real-time series of unbroken, unedited shots of me working here in the shop. They are weirdly meditative. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next one.